Hi again, YouTubers. So it is that time for a get ready with me haul edition using products that I have recently hauled. Um, lots of different things. This one, um, I kind of did it not like differently as in like drastically differently, but I kind of talked to you guys like, oh, should I try this? Should I try that? What do you think? Like I kind of did as I went along and kind of determined. So this is the look that I'm doing. There are lashes, there is eyeshadow, there is face primers, there are powders, there are concealers, there is all kinds of stuff. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pull my hair up first. Get it out of my way. Just like a clip. Get it out of the way. First thing I have been using, I tried it like three times, is the Aunt Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer. I bought it in the color Dim Light. I actually really like this. Um, I actually like this even more than the Becca Backlit so far. It's really cool. So you just put a little bit on and I just kind of tap it. I put it under my eyes a little bit too, just because I figure it doesn't hurt. I, I like, like it kind of evens out your skin tone a little bit. I don't know, I should have done one half of my face probably <laughs> to show you. Uh, next thing that I always use now, IT Cosmetics. What is the actual name for this? Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator. And you do not need much of this. Whoops. See that little dot there? That's about it. And I just kind of tap it all around. Try not to pull as much as I can. It doesn't always happen, you know. But yeah, that dim, I don't know. Something about it I actually really, really, really like. I just think it's really awesome. Um, same thing on the other side. And I try to get as close up to the lash line as I can because that's where a lot of my darkness is, is up in my lash line. And then kind of under in that half circle there. And I bring it down a little bit. Don't know why. Okay, so I had planned on using and trying the Josie Marin Vibrancy foundation fluid in the color jubilant okay but it is too light for me i will show you it's kind of weird i'll show you the other one i have too all right so i have the color i have a sample size <clears throat> in the color juicy and then i got the color jubilant which i thought would be the right color for me okay so this one is juicy and this one is jubilant <clears throat> and they're just i don't know they're just off I just feel like I need like the neck. Uh, you know what? Let's go with it. I'm gonna take that back. We're gonna go with this and we're gonna give it a try. My little coaster it's from just Pier One. I do two pumps of this, that IT Cosmetics brush that I love. You can get this brush at Ulta. You do not need a whole lot of this foundation. It actually moves very easily and applies very nicely. Same thing on the other side. I just kind of go around and just, oh, maybe it isn't too light. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. The other day when I had it on, it just seemed off. Like, I couldn't put my finger on it. Like, I needed a good amount of bronzer to make it work. But you know what? I might be wrong about this. I don't know. This might be the right color. Mm, I don't know. It's lighter than my neck, but I'm going to, we're going to play with it and see how that goes. I'd make sure I get over to my hairline just so it looks blended back on my ears, down my neck a little bit. That's all that's left on there, but I just go through and whatever's left, bring it down just a little bit. I don't know, I love the finish of this though. Like, love the finish of this. Um, I use an Hourglass, what is this? Number two brush, it's the more like tapered one. I've been doing this almost every day, Chanel Bronze Universal, or like, it's like Soleil Tan de Chanel. I just rub it in there. And I kind of go right where I would contour, but I'm not doing like a actual contour. I'm just kind of warming the face up and giving it some dimension in those areas. Outside, I kind of, then a little bit under the neck and chin. Anything that's left, I just kind of go up and around. Maybe that 
is the right color foundation. I don't know. I gotta play with this one a lot. And see it more in daylight. All right, let's see here. Next thing, I bought a new one of this. This is my old one. I still have some left in this, but you will see this in the haul. So I'm using it. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer NW25. It is really hard to control how much. Like you need the tiniest amount of this too. And that's probably gonna be too much. I do the same thing. This works good as an eye primer too. <clears throat> and I just kind of tap it around until it looks the way I think it should. Bring it down a little bit. Whatever I left over, I wipe on a towel. And then I take a damp beauty blender and I start around my eyes because that's where there's a good amount. And then I go in the other eye and then I go across my nose and I kind of go up and around my whole face and it absorbs any excess product that might be out and about and around. So kind of going like that just to kind of, you know, even it out. The next thing I have been using is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo, which is the pinker one. I used to have the one in banana and it's way, it was way too yellow for me. This is difficult though, so you shake a little bit out in there. And I saw this great trick. Use your same damp beauty blender and then tap it under your eyes to set it. And it actually has been staying like awesome that way. Ugh, this makes a mess every single time. So you have some on there and it looks like a little bit scary, like you have too much. I take whatever's left and I kind of go in the areas that I would highlight just like right through here that I don't mind having quite so much powder just for a while I'm getting ready but it kind of I don't know it's really hard Ugh, what a mess like you, I end up with this like everywhere so I take that brush sometimes and that's that Sephora Pro 90 which I did buy another one of these as well so you'll see this in a haul video and I just kind of make sure it's all tapped in. Anything left, you know, just kind of play with it. <clears throat> I have been using the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick and Taupe. It's a lot of things. So, and I put this just on my eyelid and up into the crease right like that. Same thing on this eye. And then I take a, I don't even know what this brush is. It's a Sedona Lace EB13. And I just blend this out and I blend it up to almost to the, all the way to the brow bone, but I don't go all the way, all the way up. See the difference between those two? It is gorgeous. I will tell you, like, I have so many days that this is all I do too. Like, it is just my grab and go. Like, this will probably be in so many of my summer looks like it is just the easiest thing in the world now i will say i've also been taking it and a sephora pro 18. <clears throat> sorry i have like a catch in my throat and i've been taking this and going on here and then i've been just lining it kind of on my lower water line so I get her lash line not my water line it's been giving this like smudged look that lash line and it'll clean up too but it just gives that shadowing effect without like a dark heavy liner and I'm loving it it looks so nice I love it and I love this color for that so for that like under eye smudged look <clears throat> I will do my brows, Anastasia Brow Definer in Caramel. And let's take a look here. My brows, okay, oh, so here's something. I have been also, this is something you'll see in my haul, my girlfriend, I've been talking about trying out, after I'm done this set of Latisse I have, Rapid Lash. And my girlfriend's salon that I go to sells it. So I said to her, I said, what do you think of it? You know, let me know your thoughts and all this. And so... She said, oh, I have a little, like, one month supply sample of it. She's like, I'll give it to you, see if you like it. I was like, okay, awesome. So I got it right at the same time that my lash extensions were, like, pretty much 
fallen out and done. And so what I decided to do was do, let me, sorry, hard to, is do my right eye with Rapid Lash and my left eye with Latisse. See how I remember that? Like, so I don't forget. Um, and so I'm giving it a test out to see, because my lashes are super short, to see what that difference is. And then I can review it too and give you guys a comparison. And then I go through and just kind of brush them out. Clean them up a little bit, brush them out. This one's way darker for some reason. Sometimes if you press differently. But yeah, so do you guys think that's a good idea? I thought that was kind of a good idea, especially since we're starting back from nothing. So, my favorite. Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. Like, my absolute favorite palette. Sephora Pro 19. I go into Peanut Butter and Jelly and Spread the Love. These two right here. And I just kind of blend out that top edge, the crease. Same thing on the other eye. And then keep that brush out. But then I use a Sephora Pro 14 and I go in with Bananas. Some days I go in with this one, which is Peanut Brittle. But most days it's just Bananas. Just to give me a little bit of color on the lid. Some days I leave it alone, like it depends. There's no rhyme or reason. Today I just feel like doing this. I need to tape my haul video after this. Now the haul video would have gone up last Monday, is that right? I think that's right. Did you guys should have already seen on my channel. Sephora Pro 15 and the color Extra Creamy. This is the only color that I wish was kind of just a little bit, not so white white. It's fine. Like, I just wish it wasn't so light. I don't know. Does that make sense? So then I go in with that Sephora Pro 19. And I blend this crease into that extra creamy just to make sure it's blended out. Now, some days I'll sit there and do a little bit more in the crease. Other days I won't. Not today. Sometimes I take that same Sephora Pro 18 that I used on the bottom lash line and put it in peanut butter cup, which is over here. And it, the way it sticks to that Bobbi Brown, that Bobbi Brown does not move, by the way, guys. It's amazing. Like, I put a swatch on my hand, and, like, I was, like, scrubbing my hand, and it wasn't coming off, so it was pretty cool. It, uh, stayed very well. Next thing I have been doing, oops, wrong brush, is I have been using the Makeup Forever Aqua Black little gel pot. Going in with a Sedo no Sigma EO5. I don't even know if that's still around. I don't follow Sigma anymore, so I don't know. I put some on the brush, then I go onto the cap and just kind of make sure the brush is all the way at a point. Then I go through and just add... I start at the middle because if I start at an outer edge, I feel like sometimes I put too much down. And so I don't want that to be, I can move it around in the middle, but I can't on the end. Sometimes that just doesn't look right. So I go back onto that lid. Sometimes I go back, it feels a little dry right now. So sometimes I go back into the pot too. Same thing on this side. So I have been loving and using and obsessed with false lashes right now. Probably because my lashes are so ridiculously short right now. It's crazy. And so I was watching this video by Courtney Kerr. She used to be on a show like Dallas Most Single or something and on Bravo. And then she had her own show like Courtney Loves Dallas or something along that line, I think. Um, I don't remember exactly. But I found a YouTube thing with her and she has a great way of doing lashes. So I will show you guys that too. What was I doing next? My, oh, lashes. See? So next thing I do is I go in with my, la my Surratt Lash Curler and I curl my lashes just a little bit. Not like a tremendous amount. I just give it a couple of little pumps. Same thing on this side. Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. You'll see how little my lashes are compared to what they used to be. 
put a little bit of mascara on try and separate them as much as I can because I'm gonna put false lashes on now I used to put my mascara on after I put my false lashes on and I learned that by doing that it was actually making it so I couldn't use the false lashes as often so I don't want that I want to use them a bunch of times so I have been doing it this way and it's been working out so I let that go so that's all I do for that part and then I did see her say so I take the duo lash glue the black one I don't use the clear one anymore it it makes a difference and I put <clears throat> sorry about that catch a blob of it on the back of my hand right there okay then I go in and do my face let that glue sit there I know this sounds weird but trust me next thing I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette this thing is gorgeous I haven't even taken the plastic off the top this thing is just beautiful 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 two highlighters two blushes and one color that for me pretty much works as a bronzer so I take my Tom Ford bronzer brush and I use that just to kind of go over and it's also setting that bronzer because I didn't set that bronzer earlier remember that I mean the Chanel earlier remember <clears throat> so it kind of goes through and sets that too okay <clears throat> sorry this throat Wayne Goss brush I'm there's champagne pop and then Prosecco pop I'm gonna use champagne pop today I just kind of go like that and a little bit on my upper lip and then go in with my it cosmetics I think it's 227 blush brush and I'm going in with this color oops sorry over here which is called rose spritz and it's a gorgeous 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 one of those mineral not mineralized blushes luminous blushes like oh my god how pretty is that oh I'm obsessed I love it sorry can you hear the dog squeaking its way down there that's too funny so now I've been using these lashes I think this is what I was gonna go with. I was gonna give this a try this kiss volume one but I think I'm gonna go with these these ones down here are Eyelure Lengthening Multi-Pack, 3-Pack, I got them at Ulta, Medium Weight Light Lash with a Fluffy Angled Finish, number 114. Comes in three sets. These lashes are really nice. They label left and right, and then they these ones you can tell I've already used versus these ones, and I've trimmed these. But they're not, like, stuck on there, too, which is really nice. Oh, I forgot. I also have these. I meant to try to use these. The Burberry Cashmere... Um, what are they called? Burberry Cashmere Concealer. And, uh, okay, so, right. Let's start with the right one. Uh, so then I take the lash, and the glue has started to get a little bit darker, you can tell. And I run it through the edge of the glue. Whoa, I got a little bit too much right there. That was a little bit much. And then it's already shaped and trimmed. I go in, I place it where I want it to start. Oh, whoa, not my best today. And I place it down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's from where I got some extra earlier, like on my finger. Oh, well. we'll go back and touch that up in a minute. So now I personally go in with my tweezers and I pull it and place it where I want it. Because I feel like that gets it the closest to the lash line. Especially on the edges. Now everybody does this differently. You can go in with your finger. I feel like when I go in with my finger. Like see I don't know. I don't like it as much that way. So I go in. I go in with these. And then I just touch especially on the outer edges. Because I feel like the outer edges are the parts that always lift up first. So I go through and just make sure I've really got them in there. Now you can tell the difference in that, right? Okay, same thing on the other side. And here's the good side. With doing it this way, you're not sitting there like holding the lashes, waiting for the glue to dry anymore. Oops, I gotta get that glue off my finger. And it is so much easier this way, I think. Like, it was genius. When I saw her video, I was like... Oh my gosh, I was like, that is the smartest idea ever. 
So, same thing on the other side. I just told you that. I'm gonna go in, touch it down, scoot it around to where I need it. Where'd my tweezers go? There, there. See how that top edge lifted up? Place it back down. Get the back edges. I just find this way to be the easiest way. Now, I will say that I really, like I said, I like them really tight in. So they're really, really close to the lash line. Another way to do this when you're done, if you don't like the tweezers, I'll show you, is you can go back in afterwards with your lash curler and it kind of clamps it on a little bit. So I'll show you that. Um, the other thing I got was the RCMA No Color Powder. Um, I kind of been using this to set everything. Again, this is another thing that's just a mess. It has, I wish they had better packaging. It has a shaker top, but like, then you gotta find something to shake it onto. Okay, and look, kind of makes a mess. So I've been using this Sephora Pro Featherweight 19, 91, 19, gosh. I'm just gonna get a little bit of that and I go through, it kind of softens everything up. I literally have this everywhere now, these two powders. So I still feel like this one's moving a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in and get that exactly where I want it. Now another way to do this too, since I did liner and that, but you have to be super, super careful, is the Duo Lash Glue also is sold in a black brush on one, okay? Now I'll show you a couple different things. You can go in and almost line your eyes with this. Okay, and I know that you have to be super careful, trust me, but it's a great way to make sure those lashes are not gonna pick up. Now I had tried this before with the clear glue and it just leaves a funny film. So I do not do that with the clear glue. But this one, I don't know. It just works. Everybody does their own thing, you know? It is what it is. All right, so then you see that glue. I just take a towel. Like, it comes off that easy, okay? So I got this as, I think, a sample. I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. It's the Bare Minerals Moxie Risk It All Lipstick. Don't know what I think of this one yet, but we're going to give it a try. Let me find a lip liner that'll go with it. Maybe this one. Let's swatch it first and figure it out. Ooh, I don't know about this. Uh, we'll see. All right, I found a lip liner, so let's give it a shot. Can you hear MJ down there? <laughs> MJ's talking about his birthday downstairs. You can hear him. Lipstick. Not a bad match. Not gonna lie, it's a little bit too much for me. We're gonna be taking that off. That's not gonna work. All right, so I am actually going to take, my lips are all jacked up now, the Burberry number four cashmere concealer and they twist up. I'm gonna go around the edges of my lips so they're not so pink. Yeah, I just wasn't a fan of that. Didn't work out. Where's my brush? Here we go. Just to mute those out. Mute that color out of there. Just take that big fluffy brush. Lick my lips a little bit and try and get rid of that. Alright. That was not a hit. Just the color. I'm sure the formula is great. But the color. Alright, I'm going in with my typical lip. <laughs> Sephora. What is this called? Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Nothing But Nude, I think it's called. I'm gonna outline. Alrighty, and then just slightly fill in. And then, 
Anastasia Liquid Lip in Pure Hollywood, I think it's called. As much as I try, I just don't do well with dark lips. And I don't do well with bright lips. I think it looks nice on other people. But this is just much more me. A um, couple things I do sometimes is I go in with the <clears throat> Hourglass, either the Hourglass 1.55 mil me mechanical pen or the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner if I feel like it. This is a new Hourglass one. There we go. And I then do my waterline if I feel like it. I'm going to do a full review on these liners, comparing them to. You see the difference between those two eyes? Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. <clears throat> I'll put this one on the other eye. There we go. That one goes on so much easier. So, that is everything. Oh, I probably could use some gloss. Let's see here. Let's go with this. It's a YSL. I wonder if they still make these, those oils. Because the Anastasia can be a little bit drying. This oil, I don't think. Lip oil doesn't have any color, I don't think. Like, it's this is the color usually. I had a pink one. But yeah, so that is everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any other questions. If you want to see a specific review on anything you saw here, please let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.